right after. <laughs> what we'll be showing you today is how to differentiate between uh, three different types of alcohols. Our primary alcohol, uh, which will be a butanol, a secondary alcohol, which will be secbutanol, and, or, and a tertiary alcohol, which will be tertbutanol. Right, so now we're starting our first test, the form <coughs> test. We're adding about a milliliter of iodine. And you only want to add a drop or two. We'll do two drops just to be on the safe side of each of the options. Now we want to add sodium hydroxide, which will break up the iodine and clear it so then it will make it possible to fully oxidize. And we want to put enough in to really just start to clear it up. It might take a little bit of time to react. As you can see, we've gotten a positive reaction with our second alcohol. So we can reasonably assume that it could be the secondary alcohol. Now this is the Lucas test. Uh, tertiary alcohols that are sol soluble in the Lucas reagent should turn the reagent cloudy almost immediately and soon form a separate layer of alkyl chloride. Secondary alkyl alcohols usually turn the clear solution cloudy in three to five minutes and form a distinct layer within 15 minutes. And primary alcohols do not react under these conditions at all. So we've already added two milliliters of each uh, into each test tube. And now we're just going to add roughly four drops of the unknown of each unknown. So here we have an immediate reaction, which as I said was what a tertiary alcohol would do. And within 15 minutes, if another one of these reacts, then we know that that might be the secondary alcohol. Okay, so this is our third test, the chromic acid test. Now to begin, you want to add up roughly two milliliters of acetone to each of the test tubes. And then you want to dissolve one drop of each reagent. Now that it's dissolved, you want to add just one drop of chromic acid. Now these green, the green reaction is what you're looking for for a positive result and it should form between 1 and 10 seconds after the addition. And these were pretty immediate. This orange, this is considered a negative result uh, because the chromic, if it had added to the alcohol group to create an aldehyde, would have turned green. And that only happens in primary and secondary alcohol. So these two we can assume are either primary or secondary, and this one we can assume must be the tertiary, since it did not react in whatsoever. Okay, now we'll go over the reactions of all three tests for all three unknowns. The first unknown for the iodoform uh, test, we got a negative result. So we can assume that that is not a secondary alcohol. Uh, we also got a negative result for the Lucas test, so we can assume that it is not a secondary or tertiary alcohol. And then for the third test, the chromic acid test, we got a positive reaction, which we can assume is either a, a primary or secondary. And since it did not react positively with the Lucas test, we know it's not a secondary, so it must be a, a, a primary alcohol. Now with our second unknown. We got a, a positive result for the iodoform test, which means it could be, uh, it, could o it could only be a secondary alcohol. We also got a positive result later for the 
Lucas task, meaning it is either it's probably a secondary uh, or could be a tertiary. And then we also got a positive result on a chrom um, chromic acid test, which only indicates primary or secondary alcohol, so we can assume safely that the second unknown is indeed a secondary alcohol. Now our third unknown, we had a negative result on the iodoform reagent, so we know it is not a secondary. Uh, we got a positive result immediately on the Lucas test. So, and this is to uh, tell if it's uh, secondary or tertiary. And we had a negative result on the uh, chromic acid test. So we know it's not a primary or secondary. So if it's not a primary or secondary and it uh, proved positive for a uh, secondary or tertiary, then we know it's a tertiary alcohol. Now everyone, follow your OSHA protocols when you are disposing of any hazardous materials and when cleaning your workstation.